Hey, and good afternoon, everybody. Today, we're going to talk about how to keep sitting from killing you. Um, sitting has been in the news a lot lately in the past few years. There have been some research studies done showing that um, sitting eight hours a day for many years in your job can actually have as many health benefit, uh, excuse me, health risks as smoking. So equating sitting to the new smoking. And, and sitting is something that very, very much affects your spine, how much you have to sit at work. So I'm gonna give you some tips on things that I tell my patients all day long, because many, many, many people have to sit for a living. So how can you keep that from killing your spine, especially? Um, the first thing to talk about is your ergonomics, of course. Um, you wanna make sure that your desk has a decent setup for you. And so here's my, one of my little handy, handy handouts that I give to people a lot. You want your monitor, you want your eyes to hit about two quarters of the way up um, up your monitor, excuse me, two thirds of the way up your monitor. Um, usually that means bringing your monitor up. Almost everybody has to bring their monitor up from their desk, so put it on something, a box or some books, it doesn't have to be fancy. Um, you want some nice right angles like this person here. You want a nice right angle here, you want a right angle at your elbow, um, and at your knee, ideally. It can be really helpful to sometimes have a footstool. Um, can be really helpful to have a drawer um, for your keyboard that comes out. You wanna make sure that your wrists aren't being strained either. Um, some tips on other things that can help here. It can help to sit on a ball for part of your day. I love those big exercise balls are a great thing because they actually um, provide some motion to your spine while you're sitting and they actually make you use your core muscles. So having one of those balls to sit on throughout your day can be a great option. A standing workstation is another great option. That is kind of the new trend, but I like it. You don't want to stand all day either, but ideally having um, a workstation where you can sit part of the day and stand part of the day is a super, super great option. Um, so ergonomics are the number one thing to really look at when you have a sitting job. The second thing is taking breaks throughout your day if you have a sitting job. So this is my other handout that I give people. Stop in if you want this one. Computer and desk stretches. Just stretches that everybody should do throughout their day whenever you have a few minutes. Um, all of my patients who are dental hygienists should be doing these. They have a unique situation where they do the same thing, my dentists and dental hygienists, they do the same thing from one side all day long. I was just telling somebody this morning, if you could spend half of your day from the other side of the patient, you'd be doing a whole lot better, but it's, it's hard on the body. So you need to do stretches to make up for that. So these are some great stretches that you can do throughout your day, um, little easy things. Um, then the third thing, the third key to making sure sitting is not killing your body is getting some exercise outside of work. If you sit eight hours a day, you can't go home and sit in your recliner and watch TV for the rest of the day and not get any exercise into your schedule. So make sure you're doing something outside of work that is not sitting. Ideally, some walking would be fantastic. Everybody really should walk 15 to 20 minutes a day. Um, and one little cool little tip with that is research has shown that breaking up your walk into five, like three five minute walks is just as beneficial as having one 15 minute walk. So if you can't get 15 minutes in a day, I'm sure you can get three little five minute breaks throughout your day to take a walk. That's super, super helpful. Um, we also, I recommend these a lot. These are exercise bands that we keep in our office that you also wear on your shoulders that look like that. So you wear it for just 10 to 15 minutes a day, holds your shoulders back, reminds you where your posture is supposed to be. But it also comes with these exercises that you do with the resistance band. It's, all, it's a resistance band to strengthen your upper back, your rhomboids and your upper back muscles. Um, anybody who sits for a living is way too developed in their pecs. They have too much strength and a lot of tightness in their front and they need to strengthen their, their upper back. And this can provide a lot of relief for upper back issues, especially more chronic ones. And it really help to strengthen that upper back. And of course, the last key, if you have a sitting job, you need to get adjusted regularly. Um, so for some people, that's once a month. For some people, that's you know every three or four months. That makes a huge difference to reduce the stress on your spine from a sitting job. So hope that was helpful. Have a great afternoon.